In our video series of useful MATLAB tips, today we will check how to interpolate using isoparametric formulation. For example, in the XY space, we know at uh, four points, at point one, two, three, and four, these four nodal points, the value of temperature, it can be any, any quantity, let's consider temperature, is uh, five degrees Celsius here, 10 degrees Celsius here, minus 2 degrees Celsius here and 3 degrees Celsius here. We also know that in XY coordinate system, the coordinate of this first point is 3,2. The second point is 8,1.8. .8, and similarly, the third and for the fourth point, we know the nodal coordinate. Now, for example, if we want to interpolate at any point here, so this point would be approximately 4.5 in x coordinate and in y coordinate this is approximately 4 4.5 comma 4 so this is this point x where we want to know what would be the temperature you can also consider that this is a plate and you have uh, measured the temperature only at the corner points but uh, did not make any measurement in in the center region so you just want to use the information of temperature of that corner point and interpolate what would be the temperature at that point x this can most conveniently be done using isoparametric formulation we will use linear quadrilateral isoparametric formulation for this example but if you want you can also use quadrilateral uh, nonlinear or quadratic uh, shape functions for this interpolation so we have another video in our channel that explains what this shape function is or how they work but uh, we will take uh, this granted for this particular video and we know that uh, we will just know that at this point or nodal point one two three and four each nodal point is represented by one of the shape functions n1 n2 n3 and n4 and uh, the span of these uh, shape functions are along zeta and along eta and uh, the span between this range of plus one zeta and minus one zeta minus zeta is here and plus zeta is this here and similarly minus eta to plus eta and this is zero so plus zeta plus eta you come here so this is a local coordinate system so we will do similar trick here we will define a local coordinate system within this element or within this block of metal where we have measured the temperature at the corner points to perform this isoparametric interpolation in MATLAB first we will uh, take all the nodal coordinate of these points so the first nodal coordinates are 3 and 2 so x1 is 3 and y1 is 2 similarly for this one is uh, x2 is 8 and y2 is uh, 1.8 similarly for the third and the fourth point we have uh, x3 uh, y3 x4 y4 and the temperature value for node 1 2 3 4 are also recorded as t1 t2 t3 and t4 next to define these shape functions i have defined this symbolic two variable xi and eta and then using those uh, xi and eta variable i have just written these four shape functions here n1 is 0 0.25 which is a 1 by 4 1 minus zeta and then 1 minus eta 0 0.25 1 minus zeta 1 minus eta of course uh, 1 minus zeta uh, or zeta minus 1 and 1 minus eta eta minus 1 they eventually becomes the same because the signs cancels so anyway you can exactly define as it is or you can define as i have defined they are the exact same thing if we know the value of zeta and eta so they will take any value between minus one and one for example zeta could be one and eta could also be one and it will land us in this particular point here let's take this example that eventually we saw that uh, at this 4.5 and 4. Point x, this this particular point x or cross uh, we have zeta and eta value 1 and 1 so when we put those values back in there n1 will just become one number it could be anything similarly n2 and n3 and n4 they will all become some constant numbers these constant numbers if we multiply each x coordinate with 
uh, this first uh, shape function and multiply the second uh, x coordinate with the second shape function, third x coordinate with the third shape function, fourth x coordinate with the fourth shape function, and add all them together like I have done here. This should give the x coordinate of any point in between this element or within this plate. Similarly, my multiplying all the y values with the shape function values in the same way n1 with y1, n2 with y2 up to n4 with y4. And this will again give us the y coordinate of any point that we define within this element. But in our case, we are talking about this point x. I will come to this discussion shortly. But let's now uh, take our attention to this particular equation. So this equation says that if we somehow know what are the zeta and eta value, because this is zeta and eta that is made within this uh, plate or element, if we know what are the value of zeta and eta at point 4.5 and 4 uh, in x and y coordinate, they will definitely not be the same because for x and y, this is the zero point and for zeta and eta, this is the zero point. So the coordinate at this point in zeta and eta would be something totally different than the coordinate in x and y coordinate system, which is 4.5 and 4. If we know what are the, this uh, I'm saying zeta many times, but it's definitely xi. But uh, if anyway, if we know what are the xi and eta coordinate of this particular point, we can put those number back in here and here. This gives us a number n1, similarly n2, n3, and n4. And once we know the value of this shape function for the z, xi, and eta at this particular point, we can take these points and multiply shape function's value with the corresponding uh, temperature value and add them together. For example, in this case, I have taken the shape function value n1 for this point and then multiplied with uh, the first shape function with the temperature of the first point. Similarly, second shape function is multiplied with the temperature of the second nodal point. Similarly, third and fourth. When all of them are added together, this value should give us what is the temperature at point X. But so far, we know all of the stuff except for what are the value of xi and eta at this particular point. So our mission would be to find that. As I previously said, this shape functions also interpolates the X and Y coordinates. So multiplying the value of shape function, first shape function with X1 or this particular coordinate X coordinate here, and similarly a second shape function with second uh, X coordinate and adding them together, if we equate that they are equal to 4.5 or the coordinate of this particular point. So let's do that and see what happens then. And then take the value of n1, n2, n3, and n4 and similarly multiply with the y coordinate of each of those nodal points and add them together. And they should be equal to 4 if we define this particular condition, then we can say that uh, this function f1 and f2 should be satisfied when we have the right xi and eta value for this function. So we can take this to function and use this uh, solve MATLAB built-in function. So of course, uh, f contains both the function f1 and function f2. And then when we solve them, then it should give us the two root of these two functions, which are in terms of psi and eta. So f solve will give us the psi and eta that eventually makes this statement correct. That means when we put the right xi and eta, the n1, n2, n3, and n4 takes the right value such that this right value of this shape function together with the uh, nodal coordinate of the corner points equals to the x coordinate of this uh, cross point. It's similarly for eta. So both xi and eta are solved using some sort of optimization. And after that, we get what should be the value of xi and eta at that point. And uh, when we know what are the xi eta, we can then be certain what are the value of these shift functions. 
put back in this equation and then get the temperature at this particular point. So let's run it. So this is the xi and eta value for this particular point and the value of temperature at that point uh, using interpolation of uh, linear quadratic isoparametric uh, shape function is going to be 3.82 degrees Celsius. So the code for uh, this whole interpolation will be available in the description of this video. One way of course you can use this symbolic function to solve this but it uh, would be a little bit slower but I will also include another code that uh, solves the same problem but in this case is it uses a separate function and then uses uh, f solve to solve that function to get the same stuff so by defining a function within the matlab code instead of using symbolic function and solving it using f solve we have come to the same temperature same value of psi and eta might take a couple of more lines to write that code but it's gonna be significantly faster than uh, use solving it using a symbolic function so i will also include a copy of this code at the description of this video